Alan for joining us here at RSNA. And uh, so if you look around, if you walk around, there's a lot of buzz here. You know, yeah. everybody believes that artificial intelligence is going to really change the way we practice medicine because we're going to be more precise in what we see in the images. Yep. We're going to link images with pathology, with genomics. We're going to in these integrated diagnostics, but we're also going to look at can we really organize better around patient outcomes. So, you know, in your in your space, where do you see it going? So, uh, thank you, by the way, for the opportunity to, to speak. I'm keenly um, aware of changes going on and, and frankly a little worried about what the future of healthcare looks like. Yeah. Uh, I think machine learning, AI, clearly has a role to play. I think currently, however, we're really in a bit of a hype cycle with AI. Yeah. And I, I think the big play for AI right now is it's really kind of brought a lot of anxiety more than anything else to the imaging community because chaos always brings anxiety. And that's really true for the practicing radiologist who kind of sees AI as something that's going to replace them rather than supplement them or help them improve their care. And I assume you believe more in the latter, that it can augment. I, I do believe that in the future AI will represent a tool that we can use to offer better care. You know, yeah. the, the, the honest truth is that we as physicians, we train, we learn from our mentors, and then we go about our career, yeah. and we never have a real stopping point where somebody says, you know, you didn't get that right. Because Step back, yeah. the feedback. That's right. And what about if you have a thousand people like you simultaneously providing feedback to the system and start accumulating that knowledge. I think that's a really big deal. And, and ultimately, we have to remember that healthcare is really for the patient, yeah. less the provider. And so we have to try to figure out ways to deliver healthcare that makes the most sense for the patient. And I've heard a couple of you know, visionary radiologists like yourself talk about, hey, we have to get back closer to the patient, drive the outcomes, but also become more of a, you know, almost like a clinical data scientist to help in that space. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that the uh, I'm on some of the ACR committees. I'm not sure that the ACR is right about the radiologist going to the bedside. Yeah. But I do believe that the radiologist, you know, my father was a radiologist yeah. and he always used to say the radiologist was the physician's physician. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah I and like I think that. it's true. I think, um, unfortunately, PACS, which was awesome in terms yeah. of productivity, has really separated us from yeah. most of our clinicians. And frankly, I would love to see people building a PAC system where the C was not the forgotten C, yeah. where we actually had ways to communicate in near real time that would add value back to the care continuum. Yeah. Um, and I think that means radiology, imaging needs to take a broader interest in the entire enterprise rather than simply stick to thinking about imaging as their core competence. I really like that. I think it fits very well with the way we look at care. And that brings me to a natural question. You sure. know, you know Philips, you know yeah. us. So how do you, what would you recommend us? So where do you see, so, um, why, where would you like us to go? And it's really how you take the technologies that you have and offer more value in terms of managing to an outcome, yeah. as opposed to a part of that. Optimizing the image. That's correct. Yeah. So, um, you know, I've talked a little yeah. bit, but in my world, imaging is just part of the value chain. Yeah. You have a lot of tools, but the conversation needs to extend to actually have a measurable outcome, not yeah. it's a pretty image, not the turnaround time. No, it really helps you to create a better That's outcome right. for the patient, and we learn from every That's time right. we die. And so, yeah. the more Philips can get involved yeah. in documenting, showing yeah. improvement, giving yeah. that feedback to the people who are using your products, the more value you can add, and frankly, the more value you, you can add to patients just uh, throughout the world. But I think that's a, a really big deal. Thank you, I, I love your feedback, and sure. that's definitely what we're going to do. Thanks so much. Happy, happy Thanks. to be involved.